My name is Michael Coffey. I am a custom metalworking fabricator. I really love being able to have a picture in my mind of an item I'd love to create and then seeing that come into being. My name is Alexey Filia. I was born in Russia, moved to the United States about 12 years ago. I got into making armor first, but when you work alongside with a whole bunch of bladesmiths, you start making blades of your own. Mike, Ilya, congratulations. You've made it through to the final round. Now we're sending you home where you will forge an iconic weapon from history. The spike shield. Oh, <laughs> Dating back to prehistoric times, the shield is the oldest form of protection designed to block attacks from weapons like spears, swords, axes, or arrows. Over time, they have varied greatly in size and construction, using materials such as steel, wood, animal hide, and even turtle shells. Used primarily as a defense weapon, the shield can also be used to attack by punching an opponent with either its face or rim. Sometime around the Middle Ages, spikes were incorporated, adding an extra level of brutality to its design. The long steel spike could deliver deadly blows, oftentimes immediately disemboweling the attacker. The most notable spike shields today can be seen in the popular video game series, Skyrim. Your challenge is to forge a spiked shield, a concave weapon used by infantry troops between 13th and 16th centuries. I'm very excited to go into round three. The most pride I have in proceeding is having the opportunity to show my armoring skills. I really enjoy doing shields, but I was not expecting to have to do any sort of spikes or weird crap like that. <laughs> I never assumed that I would make it to the final challenge, but here I am. Now that I'm back in my own forge, I feel very exciting. Shields require the skills of an armorer, so I do have an advantage over blade makers in completing this project. I'm designing a shield with an attached gauntlet. The gauntlet is a steel glove, so this covers the back of the palm, the wrist, and a partial forearm. The gauntlet can now be integrated into the shield. I'm feeling pretty good. For the shape of the spike, I used the World War I bayonet construction as my inspiration. I'm also going to position blade catchers. When the spear or any other thrusting weapon comes in, they get caught underneath its trap. It further improves the durability of the shield. I've laid out all the pieces, and I have to say, this weapon rocks. As far as the final test goes, I think my shield will put up a decent fight against whatever they throw at it. Well, take a look. I think it's ready for the judges. I'm feeling pretty great about being back at the shop. I share a shop with three other Forge and Fire winners. It's a bit of pressure, but I'm pretty comfortable here. The material I'm going with, I got enough there to cut one full circle. I've got the pieces essentially prepped for assembly, but just getting frustrated with the alignment of all these pieces. Oh, God, I got to bring it again. This is the worst. This is the worst. Okay, I gotta switch gears. This may or may not come together. I gotta get the strap. I gotta get the spike. I think I'm gonna forgo the additional spikes. Um, the one I have in the center, it'll be very sturdy once I get it in place. About 20 minutes left, and I need to attach the handle and the strap. Where's the handle? The Oxy didn't hold. Everything is going wrong right at the last minute. <laughs> Glad I started with a spike. <laughs> it's done. It's a shield, it's got a spike, it's got a handle and a strap. It matches all of the minimum requirements. It'll be able to be tested. This can turn out just fine. Gentlemen, welcome to the arena. To perform the types of tests that we want to with your spike shields, we decided to leave the forge in lieu of a place a little bit more medieval. We're now gonna be putting your weapons through a series of three tests. First up, the strength test. Ilya, you're up. You ready? Yes, I am. There's no way the crossbow is going to harm the shield, maybe scratch it a little bit, but scratches just happen.
Well, I can see where the bolts hit, Ilya. Small impact there, here, and right there. Nothing that would have been threatened the, the man behind this shield. So that's very well done. Michael, you're up. You ready? I think so. Let's do this. All right. I'm kind of biting my nails. A little concerned about this, but I think as long as things go straight on, it'll do just fine. Well, Michael, I can see where one hit. Give a bit of a dimple. One impacted somewhere on the center, boss. You could actually hear it. And though there are some cosmetic issues with your shield, it certainly held up to the strength test. So well done. Thank you. Doug? Blade Spitz, this is the kill test. With your shield, I will take four hits on this ballistics dummy that's wearing chainmail. Ilya, you're up. Are you ready? Yes, I am. The kill test is the one I'm a little bit concerned about. I don't know what kind of moves Doug is going to try on the dummies. The shield feels good in the hand. I can maneuver in different ways, not only to protect, but also to attack. Now let's see how much damage it did. The killing blows were right here, where it penetrated all the way. That's to the sternum and into the lung. In, that is in the belly. That goes all the way into this ballistic dummy. It's disgusting. I can only imagine what a real body would have incurred with a weapon like that. Your shield and the spike will kill. Mike, it's your turn. You ready? All right. Uh, Mike, your spike's a little bit loose. Let's see how it goes in the test. We'll see. <laughs> Mike, it feels good in the hand. You can strike with the edges. You can accompany it with the other hand. It moves well. The spike did hold up. Now let's see how much damage we did. All right. Your spike definitely penetrated on both punctures, right here probably where the diaphragm is, and in the abdomen right here, all the way through. Your shield will kill. Thank you. I'm feeling really good right now. According to Doug, it does kill. Blade Spitz, this is a sharpness test. I will attach your shield to this mechanical device. I will then release your shield to see if it'll puncture the steel drum. If your spike is sharp, it should go in easily. If not, well, it may just dead the drum. Ilya, you're up. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Three, two, one, engaging. Well, Ilya, your spike went cleanly through the drum and all the way out. I don't see any problems or any deformations on your spike. So it held up very well. Good job. Thank you. Mike, you're up. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. The lack of a uh, secure connection on that spike is definitely giving me a bit of anxiety looking at this test coming up here. And in three, two, one, engaging. Well, Mike, your spike went all the way through, got stuck a little bit, came out cleanly, but I do not see any damage to your spike. Good job, sir. Thank you. Winning is a matter of principle, and the principle is you play for victory. What I'm looking forward to is breaking the winning streak off Michael's Forge. The judges have scrutinized your work, and they've made a final decision about which of you is the Forged and Fire champion who will receive a check for $10,000. Ilya, you are the Forged and Fire champion. Congratulations. Thank you. Mike, your shield did not make the cut. Mike, in this competition, performance over fit and finish is key. But there were just too many unfinished pieces with your shield to move on. Mike, please surrender your shield. 
general. It's a fantastic experience. Considering the pressure of having three previous winners in the same shop, I think I performed very well. So as much as I would have liked a win, this still feels like a victory. Ilya, congratulations. You are the Forged and Fire champion and will be receiving a check for $10,000. Thank you. The way that all works together, I mean, just fantastic piece, I think. I'm fairly satisfied with the end result. I might not often show it, but trust me, I am proud. The prize money is already pretty much spent on student loans and my girlfriend's education in astrophysics. I'm the Forging Fire Champion, and it feels pretty good. <laughs>